Hello and welcome back. We're going to be talking about typography. Just like your whole entire design system, not just like your foundation. Now, this typography like makes up a lot of your components, a lot of your actual designs. And I don't think designers put enough thought and care into how they distinguish variations between typography and how they use it. So what I've done here, I've taken a lot of time and I put a lot of effort into just creating a nice type scale. As you can see, we're moving 12 to 20 to 24, 32, 36, 40. So four pixels is what we're basing a lot of this off of and a pixel. So that's the line height. My font size is 12 pixels, 16 pixels, 20, 28, 32, and 40. And I think that creates enough variation just for headings. I created six, kind of like your standard set. And you know, we may not use all of this, but I've created it to give us enough variance maybe in the future. So as you can tell, like I have the style name here and these are our local typography styles. And what I've done is I've broken it out just so it's easier for other people to come into this design system and just understand it. And in the beginning, I mentioned like, what is a design system? A design system isn't necessarily just providing styles, but it's also providing so many different things like context, more deeper understanding of these styles. So if a developer wanted to come in, they would be able to easily understand that, okay, the weight is a semi-bold weight, the line height is set to 40 pixels, and the font size is set to 40 pixels. And they can easily like implement that into a component within your uh, digital design system. So. Keep in mind that, you know, this isn't just a language for designers. A design system is for your team, for your product. Everyone is using it in one aspect. And you may have variants of different things, like for marketing. Marketing may not be the exact same as how you have treatments within user interface, like uh, in terms of applications and products. So you can distinguish that within your design system. You can create different design systems. You can create different categories. You can have just a design system just for your marketing website. You can have a design system for just your product and so on. So I've done this in a way where a developer could easily come in here and understand, okay, this is my H1. And these are all the different parts of my H1 that I can actually create into a component and reuse through just code. You also got the code section over here that will tell you all the different types of styles. So you have my font style, my font weight, we have my font size and so on. So that is how I've broken out headings and how to, headings is very straightforward. I mean, you know, you just have like a, a pretty standard scale moving from large to smaller and or vice versa. Now for text, I've decided to use the category called text just to kind of encompass different things like body copy. So I have different variants of that. Let's go over here. So I have like a body large, I have a regular, I have a small and I have an alternate small if I need it. These are kind of your standard body copy styles. We have like our font size. So you'll see that I'm reusing a lot of different types of font sizes. I'm not all over the place. I'm not like using like 14 pixels, 13 pixels, 12 pixels, 11 pixels. I have definitely a method to all this madness. I mean, I'm using 16 pixels for my body. I feel like you going any smaller than 16 pixels on a mobile screen, you're gonna have some small issues with readability. I think that's fine with copy that isn't so important, but when you're trying to display things like product names or more important information, stick to 16 pixels and above. That's what I have for my body copy. We don't have a lot of body copy within this application. And I'll show you where we kind of use them. I have labels. So I have a label style, which is just your 12 pixel with a 12 pixel line height. And it's just a simple label over here. And I have a hint. I've given myself a 10 pixel hint. This is just in case I need to incorporate something that's even smaller, maybe like a very small hint, maybe some fine text, but I've given myself that option and we can change that in the future. So this is how I've gone ahead and created my styles. You've seen me do this in the past. It's in the text section over here. And I named it hint with a 10 pixel font size and right beside it, a 16 pixel line height. 
And just like that, we have a text style that we can apply. If I wanted to say, go ahead and apply something different, very easily you can apply something different. So text styles are super important. And then in my last section, I have a pretty important section called interactions. And here we handle different things where users are gonna interact with our text elements, links, maybe strike throughs. I've created a strike through style just because you know we have prices. And if we wanna display something like a sale, then we have a strike through. We, this isn't necessarily something that somebody can interact with, but I thought that it placed well within here because it is very much in relation to you know our pill text. We have a pill text over here as well, and that is more so for you know little pill containers. They could be pill check boxes, or they could be just ways to show like little twenty percent off on a card. So I've created like even text variants for that. And really, there isn't much variance between some of these things. Like you'll see, this is an all cap version. And that just makes it much more easier for me to apply something without having to worry about like capitalization. This will just automatically do it for me. Same for things like strike throughs or underlines for links. And you'll see like my variants as well. Like there isn't much difference between my regular version here and my alternate version, but it's just enough, makes your life easier. So create those variants if you need them, even create them if you think you may need them, they may come in handy. But this is how I've set up my typography system within this larger design system. And I'll show you in our next videos how we kind of go in and uh, use these different types of elements.